Taylor Connor at the moment, mm-hmm. and I know there's an opportunity for people. I think it's today to 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 uh, mourn her. She's the, the possession's coming through Bray, I think, or might have done already. Um, I'm just curious, given your roots in Irish music, any kind of thoughts um, on Sinead, who was, you know, a, a trailblazer, I think, in many ways, musically, and uh, an antidote to a lot of stuff that was going on. But, um, you know, frustratingly, like people couldn't mention her name without the word controversial sometimes. And, you know, as an artist, she wasn't appreciated without all the noise. And I think there is a bit of a revision going on now as you as you'd expect but um any personal memories or thoughts on it yourself uh, well i've met Sinead quite a few times and had have had conversations with her and to start i think it's important to start i i i believe truly that you will never see another vocalist like that ever mm. like i it's hard to describe how good and how unique and mm. how unbelievably gifted this woman was mm. uh, when I was coaching the voice I had I had two singers in the battles now these were brilliant singers mm. the two best singers in the show and I told them we're doing Mendink and they're like we're not doing that yeah, we can't yeah. Do that. <laughs> these were gifted I think that the ability to go from hardcore punk into ethereal mm. like it's 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 really virtually impossible I mm. don't know many other singers who come close so I think it's important to start there yeah. I not to even her songwriting, her voice, her mystery, everything. World, world, world class mm. artist at the highest level. Uh, personally, you know, I think one of the big threads that I'm pulling on in my research and a thread that is actually starting to show up real, real interest is conformity. Mm. And the fact that Ireland and this might sound like a stretch, but when Ireland went from, you know, colonialism, famine into independence, the one thing that happened after we gained our independence, we had to prove to the Brits that we weren't going to fall apart. Hmm. So we became deeply conformative. Everything, you know, De Valera turned to the Catholic Church and said, you decide what's morally correct and ethical. And then everything culturally became around, you know, the, the power of nationalism created this real deep conformity. Now, that might sound, but what's this got to do with Sinead? That conformity allowed people end up in institutions It allowed people putting to Magdalene laundries into industrial schools, because anyone who didn't perfectly fall into that role of conformity were seen as outliers, were seen as crazy. They were seen as lunatics. They were mm. seen as just bad blood. These were the words we use. And conformity for me has been a real weapon in Ireland. And I think Sinead was one of the first people to actually really, truly stand up to conformity. Uh, she was a punk, mm. and that's what punk is. And, yeah. you know, people talk about the, the ripping of the, the Pope's picture. I think long before that, she was talking about the abuse of the Catholic Church. Mm. You know, she she was... And what she did that I thought was really important, she always said, I'm not, I'm not talking about faith. I'm talking about the institution of the church, mm. which is exactly what she should have said. So I believe that she was the first person to really break, tr- break free of the conformity that was suffocating our country like mm. genuinely and people go that's not true it is true mm. you know 70s and 80s in ireland the stuff we did especially to women and children is diabolical like the stuff we did to people in institutions course of confinement who did who had nothing wrong with them mm. they were just maybe a bit different or you know they may have seen the world differently we just put them into institutions and yeah. ireland by 1950 had the highest level of people in course of confinement in the world like mm. that that's what we did so she was a punk and she'll be hugely missed. And also there's a lot of people, you know, co- creating commentary around Sinead O'Connor who know nothing about it mm. and are saying things that really they shouldn't be saying and saying like nobody helped her. I think people tried and I think people really did. I think it was a lot more complex and, and, and layered than most people realize. But yeah, I, I was, I was really heartbroken mm. when, when I heard the news and I, I, I really probably haven't processed, processed it enough. enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, but above everything, um, you'll never see her again. You'll never see mm. that again. The likes mm. of that again. No, no, that, no. That she was talent. she was special. 
And I think anybody that heard or knew, you didn't have to know anything about music or you just knew that, you know, what you were listening to was, was, was rare. And, um, you and know,